Yeah, it turns pretty good. Not too bad, but the power. Yeah! Woo, let's go, baby, let's go! Yeah, it's got some good pull, good pull. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Pedro. In today's video, I have the opportunity to get behind the wheel of this 2021 Chrysler 300 S. A little bit excited because obviously this is a V8 model, rear wheel drive with a sport suspension and the S appearance package. Now, I've, I've been behind the wheel of a Chrysler 300 before, but it's probably about 10 years ago. You know, this one, this one is, of course, is a V8, which is getting me excited. Rear wheel drive sedan with a V8. We're gonna do another, gonna basically a review, just a quick go around, and uh, but we're gonna get more, get to drive it. Uh, this one here that we have with us, this 2021 is called Graphite Gray Metallic. Metallic, which is really nice color. I mean, it's got some nice graphic to it and the metallic paint to it. Uh, of course, this has appearance package that this 300S has. It has the, you know, the gloss trim around, all the gloss wheels, of course, the black 20 inch gloss wheels, uh, which, which, which are 245 millimeter tires all around. Uh, coming around here, as you can see, all the black window trim, we have uh, come around the back. We got a you know small lip spoiler here in the trunk. That's part of this sports package. Of course, we got the blacked out Chrysler emblem with a red Chrysler uh, lettering here, which is really cool. Looks really good. Here, of course, here we got the black gloss 300 with the S logo here for that appearance package. Uh, this color, this car looks good in this kind of you know darkish gray. It's really nice. Uh, so you can see, you guys, we're coming here looking at this 20-inch wheels. There's all gloss black these are running firestone uh all season tires 245 millimeters all around uh which is not a bad tire but uh, i really like the way this looks uh, obviously this doesn't have any i just drove a dodge uh charger scat pack which you're gonna see you guys probably first up but that has brembo brakes this is not just regular one single piston brakes but they were pretty good uh just brief, briefly driving it here so I like the wheel, I like the way the design. This car looks pretty cool. And uh, there we go, guys. So coming into the front real LED, quick. Uh, headlights here, or LED uh, projector lights. We got LED fog lights, and we have also daytime running lights as well here. So really cool here. As you can see, we got the black rail here. That's part of the S appearance package, which really looks cool. We got the radar sensor here for the adaptive cruise control and all the sensors. So really cool, guys. Really nice look to this Chrysler still. It's not bad. It's just if it's a little dull. I apologize if we got some finger trips here. Uh, we do have some pollen coming around here now in Florida since we're in mid February and it's getting much warmer now a little bit. It's still cool in the mornings, but we get that pollen out here in Florida, which starts wreaking havoc on dark colored cars. So. All right, guys, just a quick look at the trunk here. Coming back here, guys, pretty good size trunk here. We do have a spare tire underneath here real quick, as you can see, along with the battery right there. Pretty good size trunk here. Uh, we got some formats for this and we have an alpine sub over here for the alpine system that this pressure has so really nice size for the interior and of course we got a black camera here and you can see here's a more look, quick look at the spoiler around and all that stuff so pretty cool. quick look at the interior of this of course we got a black leather interior in this uh crusher so it's brand new it's only got 2,000 miles so there's not much you know not nowhere in tear at all in this we do have a couple of usb uh connections we do have seat heaters in the back here as well and two um AC outlets for the rear passenger, so it's really nice, very comfortable, you know, quilted, I mean, quilted, as perforated leather, which is really nice. It's got a white stitching as well here. And all this, this is a bit of hard plastic, but you got some soft leather here, along with some more, uh, you know, uh, pockets for bottles and stuff like that. But it's not, it's got a bit of a piano black trim as here as well, that's part of that. Pretty nice trim for this. So let's go ahead, guys, and take a quick look at that V8 motor. So pop in the hood here of this Crush 300. At least we got some hydraulic shocks to help you with the assistance of the hood. All right, guys, 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine, 363 horsepower, 395 pound feet of, 395 pound -feet of torque, going to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Of course, driving the rear wheels. So you can get a four-wheel drive on this, I believe on this Crush 300 as you do as well as the chargers, but you have to go back to the V6. So if there's no overdrive V8, that would be fantastic. But obviously the all-wheel drive is just available with the V6. But fantastic Hemi engines. Obviously I just drove that 6.4 liters cat pack engine on that. That was fantastic. I know this is not as powerful. This has only got 363 horsepower converted to 585 that this cat pack has for the chargers. So, but I'm sure this is gonna still be fun. A good little engine and uh, but I prefer this over the V6 to be honest in an enthusiastic way. Of course, driving the rear wheel. So, all right guys, let's check out and go ahead and drop the hood of this Crash 300. All right, let's go ahead and get to the driver's side. Uh, coming up here guys, the same type of interiors as the rear door, soft leather here with a white stitching, controls for your all your windows and uh, mirrors. 
Or does this does have a little bit softer material here on the top here uh, for the part of the door trim? And of course, we got the black piano trim as well with a plastic uh, silver trim there. Uh, Chrysler logo right on the door sill. And here we got the uh, basically your leather seats here on top. Not bad. These are really nice leather seats with, the, of course, they're. They are perforated and we got that white stitching as well. This I think has pretty good decent, decent side bolsters for a car. Right? We so have the nice S logo uh, embroidered here on the seat. So that's part of the S appearance package that they give you. So we got the leather carbon steering wheel and all that dash here as well, everything here. So let's go ahead guys and get in because it's a little bit hot today. And get inside this 300. All right guys, so putting down my key guys here because we got an automatic start. Let's go ahead guys and get this cockpit started up in this engine. All right, guys, so we got that engine started. So inside here of this interior of the Clash 300, it's not a bad cockpit. Obviously, uh, you know, it's got some white uh, stitching here as well. This is, feels a little bit soft, but obviously, um, I was in the Dodge Charger just recently, so I think that for me is a better looking cockpit. Uh, it seemed to be a little more sporty uh, in terms of material wise and stuff. Um, but this got the same, obviously, this is the same layout as the uh chrysler pacifica that i recently drove with that kind of bluish dark bluish screen which i really love i love that violet blue or that dark blue uh screens and the colors of the uh, of the dashboard here of all your controls and we do have a digital speedometer here uh beside your analog gauges and of course we got this is about an eight inch seven inch screen here that gives you all kinds of settings here you can look for no messages you got you know your radio all types of settings your average miles per gallon all that kind of stuff that you know, we says you know that where's the temperature is of that uh the, the oil and everything here, PSI pressure, and we got oil left still the battery well just all kinds of great things we have, you know, the tire pressure here as well. And uh so it's really really cool. So outside is 82 degrees, it's pretty warm for Florida, getting that uh little bit of warmth back from the cool that we've had here in Central Florida. So let's go ahead and guys and close the door and get a little more quietness inside. So we do have a couple of uh memory seats for your seats here as well. Um, I believe these are about 10, 12 way power. Actually, I think they're like 10 way power seats. If not, I'll correct that for you guys on the screen for you. But I uh, love it. It's not a bad cockpit interior. The leather uh, steering wheel feels very nice in your hands. Uh, really nice. Not, it's not preferred or anything like that, but it feels really good. Of course, here we got system Uconnect 4 uh, with an 8.4 inch screen here, guys. You can see it's very nice. I love the graphics of this uh, Stellantis Uconnect systems. They feel they're very quick. They got excellent graphics, very crisp. And uh, this one here, of course, we got cool seats. We have heated seats. We run heat, a heated steering wheel. AC is running really nice. So the, those heated, uh, those actually ventilated seats right now are feel fantastic because it's warm outside. Uh, so we got them for both front seats. Those on AC, of course, you got volume control here for your stereo. And we got a fantastic Alpine system with about 10 speakers. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. So uh fantastic system of course you got the sport mode here which we are going to put on uh we got your sensors off parking sensors all kinds of things you can track control off and uh you know all kinds of things that you can play with uh decent uh you know two glove boxes here which is really nice we got some of the piano trim a uh, black piano trim as you can see guys i'm that I, I like the black piano trim but this thing just collects dust and fingerprints like crazy i mean it's just really really not the interior color to have them put on my glasses guys here so round dial here for your gear selection a little bit of slot here cup holders we do have here uh 12 volt here and a little more storage and coming here in the middle guys we do have some usb connections here another 12 volt right below this and of course storage space here for the middle so real quick guys looking at this crusher 300 so and uh really like it so let's go ahead guys and go out for a drive right, guys, let's go ahead and uh put our eight speed automatic in gear and head out and have a little bit of uh pulls and not pulls but let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun with this chrysler 300 s i like it it's not a bad car obviously it feels big um i really like the way that charger feels so the skypack charger um this one it's had sport suspension on it too as well um but obviously i don't think it's it's probably not on, on the level as this pack pad is so but let's go see what this uh dodge i mean that dodge a chrysler 300 does for us on here see how it feels so it's got some good brake bite really nice really nice i feel it already so um I just got out of a Tahoe and at the beginning that thing was pretty low on brakes but you had to get a little bit of heat on them to work them so all right guys let's go ahead and get this going 
yeah it's got a nice 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 uh pull to this v8 very smooth very good smooth transmission as well um i apologize guys if it's going to be a little dark in the camera obviously the windows are a little bit tinted there's no there's no sunroof to give us a little extra light um and i hope the copy comes around at least a little bit nice but um very nice it's a very nice feeling cockpit i mean i've been in this before as a rental car i've driven an old oh, about 10 years ago i drove a crash 300 but i haven't been in one in a while but i've never driven the v8 version so um this is uh probably as wild as you're gonna get with this type of v8 um obviously they don't put the uh the 6.4 liter in this gross but um this thing feels very nice though i mean it's got a I would say the uh the, the, the steering is a little bit light and not much feeling to it but the car goes where you point it to um it's not too bad um doesn't feel bad it feels you know kind of yeah you can press it up a little bit uh but this got it's got a good feeling to it. a little bit of sport feeling to it it's not bad i definitely the scat pad felt much better to me in terms of the steering uh but um, i don't know it's kind of the same i'm not an expert on these dodge chrysler products but i'm sure those guys who've owned them uh could tell me a little more hey is this the same type of steering i don't think it's the same steering rack to be honest uh but it, it, it feels good though it feels not too bad and this is the brakes yeah the brakes have a fantastic feeling to them the brake pad really grips well and it's very progressive so so as you can see guys 2100 miles on this chrysler 300 it's basically brand new um unfortunately you can't you know try to get 2022 models they are not easy to come by uh, most of them are pretty ordered or sold out or you know it's kind of hard to get some so this is still a brand new model uh but i still you know i'm sure for 2022 there's not much changes to this thing so i'm sure it's probably still the same kind of car so let's see how the brakes and the steering is on this thing. oh yeah so yeah it turns pretty good not too bad but the power yeah Ooh, let's go baby let's go yeah it's got some good pull good pull and I'm sorry, guys, if you're here, I'll have a plate there that's just temporary and it's, let's get it out in the back seat. So, but it's got some good pull, some good pull. Uh, love this V8s. Uh, yeah, nothing like the explosive enough to that 6.4 liter, and that's not even a Hellcat, but that was so quick, that car. In terms of uh, handling, it feels, it feels very, it feels good, it feels stable. Um, to me the scat pack charger suspension felt a little better i don't know if it's a different valving on the shocks or the springs rates and all that stuff but uh this one's not bad this is i think this is set a little more comfort uh this is more you know this crush is on more of a in the terms of in the side of luxury i think so then i'm gonna make the suspension very stiff or anything like that but it still feels very good uh you know it's a nice car that i'm sure you can drift easily have some fun with it uh this doesn't have all the settings as the charger has but uh, this v8 is very nice it's plenty of power uh you can go you know the v6 all-wheel drive or v6 rear-wheel drive v8 like this and i think this is a much more than you can get with one of these so uh but it feels very good I and mean, it's a good of course you got the awesome system here let's see what we got on got the nice stereo system as well everything's on your fingertips this is a fantastic new connect system here so i really like it the bricks feel good the car feels playful i mean it feels it feels tossable it feels like you have some fun obviously the brakes aren't going to last on a track or anything like that but for every day this is pretty fun um in terms of gas mileage i don't know if this car well it should be around the 18 maybe 23 24 miles i'll put those up i'll put the miles up for you guys on the screen for you uh but it's not a bad car i mean it's not uh you know for a quick drive and getting to feel the difference between this and the charger yeah the charger is much better but this car still you know has a good response as you can tell um yeah you can yeah, it's got a little bit of weight in the in the, in the corner so it's not i can't believe that yeah that's cockback feels a little bit better in the corners than this uh but it's not a bad you know this is uh this crusher 300 is pretty nice uh it's very quiet it's definitely much more tame and quiet than the uh the charger was um but still this is a very good car though not bad at all for this charger i mean for this excuse me not this charger for this chrysler 300. let's check out the suspension here this is a little bit of a bump oh uh, yeah the suspension is pretty compliant it's pretty comfortable yeah the suspension in the scat pad is definitely a little more sport and sports side a little bit better a little stiffer than this um but this is not bad the brake feels very good it's got great responsive brakes confidence inspiring for sure we got a car coming but we can go um it's not bad for this chrysler 300 so but in my personal preference i would prefer the charger 
uh, the Charger feels much more sportier, a little more on the fun side than this one here. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and get this going here. Ooh, yeah, this this pulls quick. This pulls really nice. Very nice car. Very very nice. Uh, got plenty of power. And uh, yeah, that's a pretty impressive. Not bad. Better than I was expecting it to be. Um, obviously, this is more of the rental kind of brake car, but with a V8, man, this thing feels fantastic. So, and then the brakes, yes, the brakes and the handling, you see the turning a little bit. It's not bad. Yeah, it, it understands a little bit, but that's what's expected of this car. So, you know, this is not a sports car by any means, but a uh, very impressive car nonetheless. Very, very nice to be honest. So. I like it. Uh, the V8 just makes it feel so much better. I love V8s, guys. So that's me. I'm, I'm the sport driving the sports. You know, I'm usually driving German sports sedans or sports coupes, but uh, these are fun. These cars are fun, to be honest. So um, I, I applaud Dodge, Chrysler, Stellantis for putting V8s in this car. So, uh, all right, let's go check out. I did want to check out the rear camera, guys. Let's go check it out once again, real quick here, in case I missed it. Um, let's go ahead, guys, and put this in reverse. And as you can see guys here we have so the graphics aren't too bad the breakfast uh they're all right uh at least we got some trajectory lens and of course we do have sensors here as you can see in the cockpit you got rear sensors on the side and the front as well so that's awesome to have in these cars so uh, but very nice very nice the way this drives out the v8 feels fantastic uh, but of course the carpet is not the greatest and latest from from Stellantis or Dodge or Chrysler But uh, these cars are getting a little bit long in the tooth, but they're still fun So this uh, this being a 2021 with the 20,000 miles still basically a brand new Chrysler 300 They're asking 41,000 here at Barto Ford uh, Not bad considering what the prices are right now, you know, the used car prices are going through the roof So uh, not bad pretty pretty much for 41,000, you know, I tested a camera TRD which is probably slower than this doesn't have all the amenities this has and that was about the same price in the 40 so uh if i remember correctly so this is a much better car this is not doesn't have the toyota quality or you know of course the the craftsmanship but this is a lot of car for the money v8s you know all kinds of amenities cool seats heated seats rear wheel drive sport you know really nice interior and a nice sound sound system not bad at all so Hope you guys enjoyed uh, this review, guys. Thank you for all that have uh, hit the subscribe button. Help me uh, support the channel, guys, by uh, hitting the subscribe button. Thank you so much again, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.